Hey everybody, this is Jeff Bernardo with Solve Systems, and today we're going to go over the endpoint for custom fields within ClickUp API. What custom fields are, are basically a way to configure ClickUp any way you see fit. You can have currency fields, uh, text fields, calculated fields, any type of fields, and the API allows us to access them, to update them, and to delete them programmatically. So this can be helpful if you wanted to integrate with another system, say invoicing or um, HR or pretty much any other system that has an API. We can use these custom fields on the tasks and interact with them via the API. So follow along and we'll go through each method very quickly. All right, so in the documentation, we have a couple of things going on. We have get custom fields. These fields are related to a specific list. There are other custom fields related to tasks that we'll go over in subsequent videos. I'm not quite sure why they organize the structure of the documentation this way, but we'll go over this endpoint just to uh, shed some light on what this is. So in the custom field, we have uh, or within ClickUp, we have our lists, and then we have views of the lists, etc. Within the list, we can get the ID of said list, and the way we'll do that is by clicking it, getting the link, and then we will get the uh, ID of the list. So let's do that. This is the list ID at the end of the URL. And then if we put that in here, we will see that it returns back everything related to this list. So this specific, if you could think about it as a hierarchy, the list would be the top level view and then the task would be within the list. So this is a bit unrelated. This would be the next uh, method under custom fields, which is set a custom uh, field value. And so this is related to the field ID and then the tasks ID. So we can go and click into a task within ClickUp. So we'll go within ClickUp and we'll just take this first task and we'll copy the ID. And we'll have to actually go to another endpoint to get that task information. So we'll go to tasks and we'll say get task, task ID, and we'll see that it produces a bunch of this information. And if we look at custom fields right here, it starts the array of custom fields. And we can see that service fee is right here. And we can see that it currently has a value of zero. So if we wanted to programmatically go and run an automation with like say a webhook or some other change and, and wanted to modify the service fee, so add something to the service fee, we would get the ID of that custom field, which is this, and then we would update the value, which we're going to do now. So we go back up to our post here and we put in the field ID. So that's the field ID. And then we wanna make sure that we get our task ID there. And again, these can be passed in as variables in an automation. You would pass in, the, pass in the task ID as a variable and then the field ID as a variable. And then we can just give it a value. So we'll say 7,600. And we can see that status is okay. That gives us, uh, you know, a. 200 for the field service value and then we can see that the task ID isn't in there yet so we'll see what's going on and so we have the service fee ID we have the appropriate field and then we have the task ID and we'll make sure that we have the appropriate task ID there. And then we will refresh this. 
see that's a 150 service fee. And then we'll see that it updated with the 7600 here from the API call. So the way that this is dissected is you have your task ID, which you would catch off a webhook like we stated before. And then you would get the value that you of the field that you wanted to update. And then we would be good to go. So we're going to go over the remove custom field value. So we're going to get our custom field ID from the prior setting it. And then we'll get the task ID. And then we're going to remove that information. And then if we go into ClickUp, we will sort of refresh and we'll see that that service fee has been removed. So that's a way to get the fields of the main list. Then we can set a field by its ID and then we can delete the value in the field by its ID. So this is a quick run through. And if you need any other development help, please reach out to me. We'll talk to you later.